Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So just a quick little video for you today, basically just a heads up for those who aren't aware, but Gyro Flow is now available for iOS, so you can download it to your iPad or your iPhone. Now for me that is huge because if you are a regular to my channel, you know I do everything on an iPad, I do all my editing. I very rarely use a desktop computer these days. So being able to just transfer all my Avada footage over to my iPad, stabilize it, then go ahead and edit it. it, saves a lot of time. In the past, I had to transfer it to my laptop, stabilize it, and then transfer that footage back to my iPad. So it's really great news that it is now available. It's actually been available for quite some time as a beta app. You could have requested the beta app, which I did use this summer a little bit, but now the full version is available in the App Store. Now I'll just do a quick demonstration for you. You can see I have it installed right there. And it is fully compatible with the Avada, the Action Series. If you use a GoPro, you can stabilize your footage as well. And it just does a much better job than the built-in stabilization, especially if you're a person who flies FPV. As you can see here, the interface is pretty well identical to the desktop version. We can tap there to open our files. Now you do have to pull the files off the Files app, which for me is more beneficial because that's how I store all of my data. You can select the files that you want to stabilize. It's going to go ahead and load the gyro data. And of course, you can preview it to see what it looks like. You can make all your adjustments. And then you can just go ahead and export it. Now it's just telling me there I already have a file with the same name. And I don't find it takes any longer on my iPad than it did on my desktop. In fact, I think it does it a little bit quicker. If you have an M1 iPad or an M2, those processors are super fast. I'm not sure what the minimum requirements are. That should all be listed in the App Store but it does it fairly quickly. Now, if you're gonna be stabilizing your DJI Avada footage or your Action 4 or Action 3, there's very specific shooting modes that you have to film in. You have to have the stabilization turned off. But if you're using something like the GoPro Hero 12 Black, it doesn't matter whether you have HyperSmooth turned on or turned off, you can still stabilize the footage. It can give you a little extra layer of stabilization. The nice thing is with the GoPro, you can film in that large aspect ratio turn stabilization right off, and that gives the app a lot of data to work with without cropping in as much. Now, one thing to keep in mind when filming in 5K footage on the GoPro, the max resolution you can output at is 4K, but you can still use 5K files. You just won't be able to export it as 5K. I'll just show you a quick preview. Here is the unstabilized footage. This is just shot right off the Avada, stabilization turned off. And you can see it's a little shaky, of course. And then here it is now after it's been stabilized. The footage looks really good. I'm super happy that this is available now. It really is going to shave off a lot of time from my workflow. The other nice thing is if you work off a portable hard drive, which quite often I do, this is the storage location for all my drone footage. Gyroflow can work off those external drives as well. We'll go to open file and I'm going to be reading from the SSD. I already put a file there for testing. We'll select that. We'll open it up. As you can see, it's loading the gyro data. And there we go. You can see it's now reading the file directly off the SSD. And of course, we can then go ahead and export it. You can export it directly to your SSD as well. So yeah, folks, just a quick little video for you today. If you weren't quite aware, but Gyroflow is now available for iOS. As mentioned, you can download it to your iPad, your iPhone, which is super handy now that iPhones have a USB-C port. Got nice, quick, fast data transfers, and you can hook up external storage to it as well. Makes editing your files out in the field a little bit easier. If you're on holidays or traveling, you'll be able to stabilize all your footage while on the go. Well, folks, hopefully you enjoyed this quick little video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.